What's up guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach T and the rest of our coaching team and we're gonna go over this week's simple and sinister workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have four different stations. You have two exercises at each station. It's 25 seconds of hard work, 15 seconds to switch between exercises. You're gonna do four sets of each exercise and we're gonna rotate around the room one, maybe two times, depends on how the coach wants to mix it up that day. You ready, Tia? Ready. Okay, so station number one, we're gonna start with our crow step ball slams here. So, Tia's facing one direction or the other. She's gonna get a couple quick hops in, and then she's gonna use that momentum, rotate through, pivoting on that back foot, and then throwing that ball to the wall, grabbing it, coming back out. Now, when you come back to this one, you can either do one side for this the whole time or the other, you can mix it up a little bit. Just make sure you're getting both sides close to an equal amount of time here as well. The second exercise here is our TRX bicep curl. So for our bicep curls, we're leaning straight back, glutes are squeezed, elbows up high. T is gonna squeeze those biceps, pulling herself up, bringing those hands right toward her face and then over her shoulder. Glutes are squeezed nice and tight. Now to make this heavier, you step further in to make it a little bit easier. You put one foot back to make sure you get that full range of motion as you're squeezing those biceps. Nice job there, Tia. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach Matt down here. He's gonna be starting with our dead bugs. So, Matt's got this sandbag here. He's thinking about pulling that sandbag apart the entire time. Lower back is pressed in the floor. Feet are resting like they're up on a chair, or up like they're resting on a chair, and he's gonna push that heel away, trying to push as far away as he can. Now, if you want, you can add a rotation with that bag as well, so the opposite hand from that leg goes overhead here, back and forth the entire time. The second exercise, we're gonna roll over, we're gonna do our shoulder tap push-up. So, push-up plank position here. Matt's gonna start with those shoulder taps, tapping one shoulder at a time, keeping those hips nice and stable, and then add that push-up in. So it's tap, tap, push-up. If you need to, take the push-ups out and just focus on those shoulder taps, keeping those hips nice and stable the entire time, or just focus on holding that plank if you need to. Nice job, Matt. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Carrie over here. She's starting on the skier. We want to be thinking about power, not speed on the skier. Every pull as hard as you can. Reaching for that top shelf, sit, coming up those tippy toes, sit that butt back, push that air out as you pull. The second exercise here is our Charleston step up. So, Carrie's got her right foot on the box. She's gonna drive up, bringing that left knee up toward her chest, left foot goes back, then that right leg goes back into that reverse lunge. So she steps up and then drives back here. So uh, both legs are actually doing some work on this set. Driving up and then reverse lunge. Now when you come back, you can go to the other side so you'll alternate, you'll get two sets of each side. If you need to when you're working this, you can also touch your hands down to the box to maintain that balance on that lunge or you can take the lunge out completely and just work those step ups if, there, if there's any issues with your knees here. Nice job there, Carrie. Now from there, we're coming over to station number three. We got, or Susan, station number four, excuse me. We got Coach T over here. She's on the dumbbells, and she's gonna be starting with our dumbbell Arnold presses. So palms are facing her at the front, at the bottom. She's gonna open up, press high overhead, pull those dumbbells down and bring those hands back in. So she's opening up before she presses, reaching for the ceiling, pulling it back down and bring them back in. So she's squeezing those shoulder blades. Start with some lighter weights on this one because the position that your arms are in, this is really challenging even with some lighter weights here. The second exercise is our ball V, ball v ups here. So you're gonna get set up with that ball either between your hands or between your legs here. And now Tia is going to take that ball to the floor. She's gonna bring it up, she's gonna crunch up to grab that ball, passing it to her hands. Now getting a full extension, coming back up, passing that ball right back to her feet, and then back. If you need to, you get a bend in your knees here to make sure you can pass that ball back and forth here. Just taking your time, you don't have to rush on this one. Give yourself time to work that full range of motion here. Okay, that is our simple and sinister workout for this week. Great job, everybody.